today we are going to talk about the properties of addition. Hello everyone. Bhanzo is back with another interesting math lesson for you all. Don't worry. As complex as this topic sounds, it is actually fairly simple. So let's get straight into the video. You all know how to add numbers. But did you also know that the order of addition would not affect the solution? Confusing? Okay, let's do it with an example. 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. But what is 4 plus 7? It is also 11. Hence the order in which you add the numbers does not affect the outcome. This property of addition is called the commutative property. As the name suggests, even if the numbers commute to a different place, the outcome doesn't change. This holds true for addition of multiple numbers as well. For example, 7 plus 4 plus 6 plus 3 equals to 20. If we change the order, it would sum up to be 20. 3 plus 6 plus 4 plus 7 equals to 20. Easy, wasn't it? Next, we have associative property of addition. This too is simpler than it sounds. Let's look at it with an example. 7 plus 3 plus 2 inside the bracket is equal to 12. According to the rules of mathematics, the sum in the parenthesis needs to be done first. But the associative property states that if you change the position of the parenthesis, the total sum doesn't get affected at all. Let's see what it actually means. 7 plus 3 inside the bracket plus 2 is equal to 12. This means that even if we group the digits differently, the sum is not affected. It's called associative property because how we associate the digits in the sum does not change the outcome. This brings us to our last and final property of addition, distributive property. Again, as the name suggests, this property states that even if you distribute the numbers differently, they will add up to the same outcome. Let's understand this with an example. Take 48 plus 27. This sum equals 75. But let me distribute the numbers differently and see if it simplifies the entire sum. Let's take 48 plus 20 plus 7. Here, adding 48 and 20 is an easy 68 and further adding 7 to that 68 gives us 75. Wasn't that super duper easy friends? That was all about the properties of addition. We will see you all again in the next video where we discuss the properties of multiplication. Make sure to hit that red subscribe button and ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Until then, Keep learning and keep growing. Bye.